Hey nigga. What's up? BKV2 British V2 back again. And welcome back to Shitty Fighter Sundays. I know I missed a few weeks, but you can blame EA Sports because they made this game into a fucking spam fest. I swear to God, every time I search a match in featherweight, it's just hit and boom, row, row, row. Every time I search a match in light heavyweight, it's fucking John Skyscraper Jones. It's just fucking annoying, dog. So that's why I went to Madden. And I forgot that was another EA Sports owned game. So I also owned in that bullshit. But Lewis Gatter or not, dog. Um, what could I really say about it? I don't want to put him on this episode because I follow the nigga on Instagram. He's a cool dude. You know, it was this one time where I was on my white boy shit and I was gonna, uh, you see, activate the hidden barrel alarm. Hidden barrel, wow, 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 wow. Bullshit, dude. Fucking shit, I'm talking. Fuck the hair dye. I was gonna go into a nice little intricate story about me and Lewis gathering out on Instagram, but fuck it. Now I want to beat this bald headed dude ass. Fuck Hen and Burrell, man. You know what they should do? They should reduce his uh, attributes all the way down to fucking zero. To like the same attributes as like an African that hasn't eaten in a long time. Because you know what? He was malnourished in his last fight. He couldn't even fucking fight. Pass that after the weight cut. Whatever, man. Whatever, man. So what this nigga probably gonna... It's in black belt, and you're probably gonna spam. Man. <laughs> Lewis Gowdenot, so I really can't <laughs> the knockout. See, just all kicks, man. Does Gowdenot have a super. No, he doesn't even have a Superman punch. See what the fuck I'm talking about, man? This is why I don't do these episodes. And, uh, these guys are going at it here. But supposedly, well not supposedly, it's already proven, they're doing another patch. Uh, what they're talking about, it seems like the changes are going to be really deep. And that's why, see, he's fucking spamming, yeah bitch, get rocked, you bald headed African faggot, fuck you, fuck you. You want to know why you got rocked? Because my fist, it ain't just gloves on these bad boys. It's that, yeah, yeah bitch, suck my dick, suck my dick, I'm a green head. Spanish tan looking leprechaun motherfucker. Suck my dick. Play the motherfucking song, dog. Suck my dick. Suck my motherfucking dick. What the hell I'm talking about, man? Now I want to tell my Lewis Gatineau story. Now I'm in a good mood. I'm in the seat of point on Ohio. And I wanted to actually dye my hair green. I was going to do this whole crazy shit where I dye my hair green. I get like Justin Bieber bangs. I, I wear all Hollister shit because, you know, it's all white girls in, in Ohio. They don't want a regular black nigga with a Caesar walking around. You can't get shit like that. So I asked him, you know, what's the best hair dye product? And he told me that he's, he's naturally a cool dude. The thing about it is just that as a fighter, he's not that fucking gifted, you know. The only reason why I really remember Lewis Gowdenar is because when the UFC was bringing in all the flyweights and Ian McCall was supposed to be like the best guy. Oh wait, fucking transition. So um yeah, back to what I was saying. Um, forgot the transition there. I'm fucking caught up in knocking out the hand and wow, wow, wow. Only reason why I know Lewis Gowdenar is because when uh, UFC was bringing in all the flyweights, Ian McCall was supposed to be like their guy, you know, that champion, the instantly crowned champion. Uh, you know, people want to talk shit about him. Fighters, I may want to talk shit about him so they could just get that easy title shot. They wouldn't really have to work for it. And Lewis Gowdenar was like one of the main ones, you know, he has a- uh, ACTIVATE THE FUCKING ALARM AGAIN! WE'RE GONNA RUN OUT ON THE BUDGET! HIT IT BOW WOW WOW WOW! Fucking... You know, Lewis Gowdenar had a flying green hair, man. He looked like... I don't know... The- the Uso twins with green hair. That- that's how, like, I remember him. Where he is now, I don't know. I think he just won his last fight, but is he close to a title shot? Fuck no! And fuck your glove touch. See, look at this shit, man. I honestly think Henny Barrow is just a cheat code in this game. Oh, shit! Yeah! Yeah! Ever since that weight cut, you ain't been the same, homie. Just a few weeks ago, you was the man, homie. You see, that's what's really gay, those leg kicks. Those inside leg kicks. 
Tell me one time in a real MMA fight, you seen a nigga just throw like five of those in one succession. And don't talk about Jose Aldo, okay? Because he didn't do that shit. He didn't take one fucking leg and just go tap, 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 tap. No, he did it in a nice car. Like, see, he didn't do that. This just, that's bullshit. I'm about to get my green eyes knocked out. Fucking look. Look at this shit, man. If I lose it, oh! Yeah, I'm bleeding already, man. Look at this shit. Look at this. Fucking this. This is this, this just why I don't fucking like hitting Barrel, man. And this is why I don't play this stupid ass game no more. Brian Hayes. If you go on the phone, gameplay dev UFC, you fucking hear me right now, dog. In the next patch, fix hitting Burrell. Make it so he can't knock you out with one stupid ass punch. I know I'm using a worthless green leprechaun hornswoggle looking ass motherfucker right now, but at least give me a goddamn chance. Couldn't even do anything, because the motherfucker want to throw 35 leg kicks. Boo, 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 and they do so much fucking damage. I block him and still doing a lot of damage. So you know what? Until the next patch comes out, fuck this stupid ass game. Fuck that guy who can't make weight on a healthy note. And fuck this leprechaun. Why am I even using him? BKV2, British Kid V2, 